Hi, I'm Captain Harpratap Singh. Uh, I've been working in the Merchant Navy for the last 10 years. I specialize in the oil tanker field and I manage uh, super tankers which transport oil across the world. The Merchant Navy is a, is a thrilling career and uh, people who want to join it essentially go through a rigorous training program uh, for development of their skills basically to operate vessels and manage people who are operating vessels. So the best part about the Merchant Navy is that you get to see the world. Uh, in my last 10 uh, years, I've, I've gone to at least every continent across the globe. I've seen more than 30 or 40 countries. I can't even remember the number of places I've been to. Um, you get to work with a lot of different nationalities. Uh, you meet a lot of different people and you learn a lot on the job. Uh, it also sets you up for life. The, I really can't complain about the, the compensation that we get out there. But it does come with its own challenges now. Uh, your family life really suffers. Uh, as a young officer, as a young trainee, you really are not very concerned. But as you tend to mature up, uh, you will feel the strain in, on your personal life and your family. So it's, it's very important for a Merchant Navy officer to uh, kind of plan his career in a wise way. Uh, be very careful with his money so that if required, you know, he can fall back on it. Uh, all in all, I feel that it's it's a really good career option. In the Merchant Navy, basically, there are a couple of hierarchies. You start off as a trainee officer or a cadet, where you learn the various functions uh, on board the vessel and you understudy different officers. Um, once you get your certification, you start off as a third officer, where you're responsible for the navigation of the vessel. Uh, and also maintenance of firefighting equipment, training of the crew. Um, you are also responsible for managing cargo operations in the port and delivering the cargo to the uh, receivers. Um, about 12 months in, uh, into a role as a third officer, you are able to graduate uh, to the level of a second officer, where you are basically responsible for maintenance of the navigation equipment, uh, delivering a navigation watch, managing a team of about uh, five to six people for cargo operations. So these are the operational level roles. Um, about two to three years into these operational roles, you grow into a level of a Merchant Navy uh, Chief Officer. And as a Chief Officer, you are heading up the entire deck department. Uh, when you are heading up a deck department, you have basically have a team of about 10 to 15 people under you. Uh, your, the entire cargo responsibility is the chief officer, so he is responsible for up to 150,000 ton, tons of oil in every voyage and loading it, maintaining it and delivering it is his responsibility. Um, the final topmost hierarchy in the Merchant Navy is that of a captain uh, and as a captain you are responsible for the overall operation of the vessel. Uh, you, The entire team reports directly into you. There are a lot of legal uh, endorsements that you get to act on disciplinary grounds and as well as the nearly as the owner of the vessel. Um, you also interact with a lot of different owners, uh, charters, port authorities to ensure that the vessel operations uh, are not hampered at any time. So this is just a snapshot of what a career progression in the Merchant Navy looks like.